Hey, it's Alicia. Welcome back. It's been a minute since I've been, since I've, see, this is why I don't film myself. It's been a minute since I've been on camera, so I thought I would say my hellos again. My hair has gotten much longer since I last taped, and I've been starting to take collagen. I mean, not take it, but like drink it in my coffee, so I might actually show you guys um, my coffee routine of how I do my bulletproof coffee, which is Whole30. And speaking of Whole30, I was debating on doing an April Whole30 because I did. we did finish up the January one and I really liked it and I felt really good when I was doing it. And I kind of got off track because cheese and wine, like got off track. So now I kind of want to get back on track and I was thinking of doing an April one. So we have however many days and weeks to prepare. But I was wondering if anyone wants to join me in an April Whole30, we can stay contacted on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. And I will help you throughout it. I have lots of resources. And speaking of resources, today I thought I would show you how I do my meal planning for the week. So how I sit down with all of my Whole30 recipe books and resources and how I plan out my groceries and my grocery list. So then you can see that it really isn't that hard. It does take some extra time to do a Whole30, but it is only 30 days. So let me know if you're interested in trying it for 30 days. It seriously is life-changing. It's so awesome. So comment down below or um, DM me on Instagram, anything like that, and let me know if you're going to join not really join because I'm not like hosting a party, like a Whole30 party, but if you're gonna do the whole April Whole30 with me. So stay tuned to the end of the video too and I have a surprise coming out that I've already kind of released on Instagram. So if all of my followers and watchers also follow me on Instagram and my Instagram stories, sorry, you've already seen this information, but stay tuned to the end and I'll let you know what's going on. All right, so I already have my setup going. I usually have my bullet journal with me, all of my resources. I have a few cookbooks, and um, I'll kind of go over each of these. But first, I'll kind of show you um, kind of a template that I actually really enjoyed using uh, last week. I posted a picture of this on Instagram, too. And I had nine days of meal prep to plan for. This week, I don't have as many, which is nice. but. So you can see here, make sure it's focusing. Um, I have every day listed out breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, mine versus Ryan's plan. And then um, my to-dos, like when to take meat out of the freezer and little things like that. And then here are my little grocery lists. So I kind of have them separated into like pantry items, I don't know, random items, and then the produce. So our layout today is going to be a little bit different. I don't have anything planned just yet, but this is the template we're kind of working with. Okay, so now I'll quick just go over all the resources I'm using. And so I've showed this before in my videos. It's the Whole30, the 30-day guide to total health and food freedom um, by Melissa Hartwig and Dallas Hartwig. And this is a great resource if you don't really know how to start the Whole30. But I can help you guys along the way if anyone's interested in doing a Whole30. Okay, so then you'll see that there's lots of recipes and all of them have been delicious, the ones that I have tried. So that's this book. Then Melissa Hartwig came out with the Fast and Easy book and any of these take like, I don't know, 10 minutes to like 60 and it's so nice for when you a night when you're or a day when you're working because you can just come home and you can throw something in the oven and it takes like 30 minutes and throw something in the crock pot so it gives you a lot of resources and recipes that are obviously fast and easy that's the purpose of this book okay lastly i do have the whole 30 day by day which is also new by melissa hartwig i think she released these last two ones this past December in 2017. So this one is nice if you love tracking things. So you like checking things off every day that you made it through that day. And so not only does she have where, you know, you can check off. Let me set this down so you can see. Um, 
the, I did it, Whole30 Day 29 is in the bag. You write down your three meals, any reflections, and then you rate your energy, sleep quality, and cravings. And the other nice thing is every day she has an explanation of how you're going to feel. And then she gives you motivation, some FAQs, tips, and some hacks, and some extra credit. So it's nice every day you have these resources, which is so awesome. So I definitely recommend this book, and I just got mine off of Amazon. So I'll try to link it down in the description. I have an Excel spreadsheet of all the Whole30 recipes. So I went through and kind of wrote down, because I needed to stay a little bit more organized. I was getting a little bit overwhelmed with trying to think of recipes every week. So I came up with this Excel spreadsheet and I have it separated into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So different recipes. And then it starts off with just, let me see if I can zoom in for this part. Okay, so I'm getting like the most horrible reflection and it's not really coming through in the video well, but this is the best I can do. So for each recipe I have source, where I got it from either Pinterest, online, Whole30 books, any of those, the rating from a zero to five scale, any modifications I would make to the recipe if I didn't like something about it or if I could make it easier, uh, the ingredients so then I know, oh, I have like cabbage and I don't know, chicken, I, what can I make? Like I go through, especially with like fresh rosemary and thyme, I don't want that to go bad. So I'll go back and see, okay, what recipes use fresh rosemary and thyme? So I know, oh, I'll make those so I don't waste any fresh herbs. And then the time it takes, so the total time. So what I can do too, if anyone is joining me in the Whole30, I can send you this document and I can share it and kind of help you out to give you a better layout of some recipes. And now we're gonna plan for next week. Gotta go to my open page here. I already started planning out April pages here, so I have it in pencil and I gotta film that soon. It's really cute. You guys are gonna love it. It's super adorable. Okay, and now I'm just, I gotta see the next time I can grocery shop. So typically I grocery shop weekly and it just kind of depends on my work schedule. My work schedule is all crazy because I do PRN work. So as they need me per diem. So sometimes it gets all crazy. This time I happen to, I have today off and then I have to cook for today through next Tuesday. We'll plan out a seven day meal plan because that's typically what most people will be doing is a seven day meal plan. And I, my, the first whole 30 I was cooking for Ryan and I, me, Ryan and me, it's cooking for me, yeah. And it is a little bit more difficult with an extra person added onto the whole 30, but it's definitely doable and I can coach you through it. But I believe for the April whole 30, I don't think Ryan is doing it with me for this one. Let's get started. I am using my Tamba Mono drawing pens as usual. These are always my go-to because they write the best. So I'll just kind of interchangeably use tip one, five, and three, depending on the line thickness that I'm looking for. Okay, so I did one space in and then I, each of these is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. Enjoy the lovely music because if I talked through this, it would just be awful to edit through.
have kind of the main layout done and my weeks usually start like my work weeks are usually Friday through Tuesday so yours might be a little bit off if you start your week on a Sunday or a Monday so you might start with a Sunday or a Monday here but because of my work schedule I do it a little bit off and so right in here I just wrote in with my lightest gray Tombow N75 I actually lost my other one I don't know where it went so I usually use the other one but this one works too just a really light gray to outline here give a shadow to these little boxes it does add a lot it might not on camera but it does in person it looks really good and then um, I try to stick with my star theme throughout here and added in a few little stars here and the dates that this was and then oh the reason okay I wrote in here breakfast lunch dinner just wrote BLD and separated let's see these are I'm gonna go by the spaces not the dots so the spaces it's seven spaces over with one leeway here so you'll have one leeway here two extra spaces on here and this is a standard Luftrum A5 size So these are seven boxes across and ten boxes down so that gives you a space to write your date and then three spaces each in those all right so I'm gonna start getting planning dinner tonight the easiest dinner that actually is Ryan and mine's favorite hamburgers burgers are so good especially as the weather is starting to get a little bit better you can start to grill so tonight we're just gonna do burgers and I'll do some sweet potato fries I have a ranch dressing that's whole 30 approved Burgers with a little heart because they're so delicious. I need to get my lunches ready for the week. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the lunch that I make every week is a pumpkin chili that I toss in my crock pot and it lasts me six servings and it's got obviously the pumpkin in it so it fills me up during my work day it has a ton of protein in it and it's nice for um, the cold weather months I really like it otherwise I might take leftovers into work so I'm gonna start writing out the tasks I want to get done there Maybe we'll have something pumpkin related. My breakfast. I love doing an egg bake. It's my favorite thing and they're delicious and they last me again six days. All right, so now is the fun part. So I pretty much have all of my to-do things for today to at least prepare for my lunches and breakfast for the week as well as all of our meals for today. So next I need to think ahead, what am I gonna cook for dinner tomorrow? So for tomorrow, I know I work until 3.30. That gives me a good amount of time to get in a, a nice meal that I can cook. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause the video, quick look through my recipes and pick out one because I feel like this video is already getting too long so I'll be back once again I got ahead of myself sorry it's the first time I'm trying to record something like this and I'm obviously not doing a very good job at this as you're making and planning out your meal prep you're also going to be writing a grocery list for yourself obviously so you can make all this stuff so I'm just gonna quick cut the video and pretend that I did all that because I had actually already grocery shopped so hold on all right, I'm back. So we'll just pretend that never happened. And as I'm going along finding my recipes that I want, I'm just writing down on a list what I actually need to buy from the grocery store. The nice thing about Whole30, as you'll see from my list, oops, I had to rewrite it out because that one was ugly. So this one's a little bit prettier. The lists aren't long because you're basically buying a ton of meat, veggies and potatoes, and fruit. And 
Otherwise, all of your pantry items, I was able to buy all of the pantry items in the beginning and they've lasted me, they lasted me throughout the whole time and they're still lasting me now. So like all of those pantry items, I just buy at the beginning of the month when they're on sale and then I stock up my pantry so um, I don't have to keep buying them and buying them, especially when they're not on sale. Back to this Saturday, we're making our chicken Alfredo. Yay, good. Now for Sunday, I'm not gonna make something pumpkin. I take that back because it was a mistake. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use some white out and white it out instead, not a big deal. And then we'll let that dry and then I'll fill in what I'm actually going to cook, but I'll show you guys what I'm gonna cook. We cook this all the time and it's so delicious. This is out of the Whole30 Fast and Easy cookbook and it's a roasted potato and kale hash with eggs as you can probably read, but it looks like that and it takes only 50 minutes to cook all of that. It's with kale, green onion, eggs, and then we always put bacon on the side with it. So that, since I'll have a good amount of time after work to cook, about an hour, I will just do our potato and kale hash with bacon. So important. So in order to do that, Saturday I do need to take out the bacon. Moving on to Sunday, breakfast lunch is already done and then I just need to make our delicious hash with bacon. Yes, exclamation point to that one. And that's for Sunday. And then I already have my meals planned out for those two days. It's leftover spaghetti and leftover Alfredo. And then I just have one more day. <laughs> One of my favorite go-to meals, my shepherd's pie, which caused me so much trouble in my first video, but I absolutely love it and it lasts us so long. So you know what, I am gonna... On Tuesday, I need to take out beef. And I'll also be doing my grocery shopping and meal planning for the next week. So I can also add that in. To go, that's our to-do list for the week. Now to, in order to make my shepherd's pie, I take out my book, it is shepherd's pie. I have sweet potatoes, so I'm just going down the list seeing what I need, I have all that. Really, I just need celery and carrots, and then I have the rest. We make our little grocery lists. So you can either just make one big box and kind of write out what you want, but I like the little, how this looks with the little post-its. I think that's cute, like a little post-it note. I got that idea from Bujo Blossoms on Instagram, the little, tape and then the ripped up, I don't know what this is, but that and then the little notebook. So we're gonna redo those right now. And that's how I meal plan. But Whole30 is definitely doable. It's really only for 30 days, cutting out certain food groups and then slowly reintroducing them back in for like 10 days after you're done. Please let me know if you're interested in doing an April Whole30. I will help you with more resources. This was just a quick snippet because I had a few people ask me of how I do plan out my Whole30 weekly food items. 
So I thought I would just make this video so you guys could kind of see what I do right now. And if you're interested in Whole30, like I said, just contact me, private message me, or um, leave a comment down below and we can do one together. And now, if I might cut this out, but now it's time to make a bulletproof coffee. So we'll see. <laughs> we will see. I'm gonna show you how I make my bulletproof coffee. I got the recipe from Just Jesse B, and I'll have that link down below. But pretty much it's a coffee filled with good nutrients and healthy fats to kind of get you through your morning. And it is Whole30 approved, and I drink it every day. And what I do, you take their collagen peptides by Vital Proteins, and they're really good for your hair, skin, nails. My nails have been going growing really well. My hair is growing like crazy. My skin is less dry. This stuff is awesome. So I highly recommend this. It comes in like a powder form that's tasteless. You can see I'm like done with this tub, but I have a new one. And then there's collagen creamers as well, which you can add to your coffee. So this one you can add to water, you can add to anything, it doesn't change anything. But the creamer ones are really good to add into your coffee because it does add more of like a creamy texture to your coffee, which is lovely. While that's brewing, what I do is I take a scoop. The recommended serving, if we can focus here, is two scoops, and that gives you 20 grams of collagen, 70 calories, and the protein is 18 grams. I just do one scoop for myself or half a scoop a day. I'm gonna pour about halfway, and then these are nut pods, which is a dairy-free creamer that is Whole30 approved. It's even stamped on here. Pour whatever you want to your liking. So this is from Fourth and Heart. Fourth and Heart is my favorite ghee. They have truffle ghee. I mean, like it, they're delicious garlic ghee. So this one is the Madagascar vanilla bean ghee. And ghee kind of looks like this. It's kind of weird at first, so don't be alarmed. But what I do, I just take a knife, take like half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of it, and kind of dunk it, and it kind of will like fall off of the knife. If not, it will kind of stick to it, and I can't get it off. And ghee like sticks to everything. I take my frother here that I just bought on Amazon for like eight bucks, because I was using, you can use an immersion blender, you can use an actual blender. But yeah, so I bought this like awesome frother that I highly recommend. And... And I'll add in the rest. And look at that froth, you guys. That looks so good. My immersion blender would never do that. Then I just finished mixing up here. Oh, and then what I also do, sometimes I'll add a touch of cinnamon because I hear there are just so many benefits to cinnamon. I'm not sure what they are, but it just reminds me of Christmas and holidays and fun. And then you can always add in a little cinnamon stick if you want as a little stir. And it adds a little decoration in there. And that is my Bulletproof Coffee. All right, thank you for sticking with me through that whole meal planning session and the coffee and everything. I hope it's helpful and I hope that it shows you that, you know, Whole30 is doable and that you may want to do a Whole30 with me in April, this April, 2018. Okay, so now what's kind of going on? I've spent the last three days on this couch, haven't moved, barely, other than to eat. And I've been working on um, launching a website. The gaps that I've noticed in the bullet journal community is um, how to set up a bullet journal and ideas for the separate stages of your bullet journal. So there's like different sections and it's hard to find inspiration in like a confined place. So I thought I would create a website first to just tell you how to set up a bullet journal because it is overwhelming and there's a lot of resources out there, but I don't think it lays it out like I lay it out. So first to set up a bullet journal and then I'm going to have a ton of galleries of all of my drawings and my monthly layouts and weekly layouts and all that stuff in galleries so you can always refer back to my website, always go back and say, oh, I wanna do that for this month. Oh, I wanna do that tracker for my bullet journal, then you can just go back online to my gallery and click it and 
draw it from there. So I thought it would be a good resource and an easy resource for people. And I'm hoping to launch it at the beginning of April. The things are taking me a little bit longer than I anticipated. I didn't know that a real website took that long, but I had to watch an hour and a half YouTube video of how to even set it up. And I keep just watching YouTube videos of every step of the way to figure out how to do this. So I am getting the hang of it. I've already written seven to eight articles for it. And now I'm just trying to connect all the dots and finish up the articles and all the pictures before I launch it. So then you have some good, you know I love saying my meat and chunk, you have some good meat and chunk in the website, so then you can utilize it for your own bullet journal. So stay tuned, I'm hoping to launch that in a few weeks, The same, about the same time that I'm starting a Whole30. So we'll see if it all goes over well, who knows? But I wanted to give you a sneak peek of what it might look like, I might make a few adjustments, but I think it's gonna look pretty pretty. I like it so far. I like the color scheme, so I'm gonna show you it. So like I said, this has been like my desk for the past three days straight, and I've been watching Monk on in the background right there. I'll show you if I can find a remote. And he just makes everything so much better. I missed having Monk on TV, and Amazon just released it on their Prime, so I've been watching it. So as you can see, there's there it is. So. I love Monk, but anyway, so here is the start. Sorry, you can see my reflection. Here is the start of the website with some features and then like a little quote. And so like here are some of the resources I'm trying. Sorry if you can't see that. But there's the blog portion where I'll be updating blog posts. And then there's also like bullet journal basics and bullet journal inspiration. Oh, I need to fix that. You can't, it's like getting cut off. See that? I have lots of like little things to fix. And then a section for personal development. So I'll kind of include every like bullet journal related whole 30 stuff in the personal development section. So we will see how this goes and how it develops. I hope you guys enjoy it as a really good resource because I don't feel like the resource is out there and I've spent a lot of time doing research on what is and what isn't out there. And I'm trying to give you the best resources that you can get right now at this current moment in bullet journaling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Boop, boop, boop. See, once I, once I stopped doing like the food of the Whole30, I kind of broke out like crazy when I started eating wrinkles, when I started eating dairy again. So it's just little things that you notice about yourself. You can still go back and eat those foods after the 30 days, but you can decide not to if you, at least you know like how it affects you. I don't know. The whole 30 is awesome. So like I said, comment down below, private message me on Instagram, email me. I don't know if I have my email anywhere listed. It'll be on my website. So don't email me yet. And let me know if you want to join me in the April whole 30. It's going to be awesome. And I'll help you along the way. It's really not that difficult. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.